So it's like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm pretty tired, but you know, I feel like I have to, I have to do this at some point, so here we go. I've been doing a lot of deep thinking lately, and um, one of the thoughts that crossed my mind is I love, like, like older music, like I love the Beatles and everything, and I'm going to use the Beatles as an example, even though it's totally cliche. Um, a few years ago, when they were big, I mean, now now it's just sad, the, uh, the, the Jonas Brothers, or even, like, if you wanted to use a more modern example, Justin Bieber, they're, they, they, they were, like, a modern-day, like, band with a bunch of girls all over just like the Beatles were in the 19, uh, I mean, early, late, late 50s, all through the 60s. And, and the way I feel about it is if I was alive back then, I probably wouldn't have liked those bands. Just because they would have been just as annoying as bands like the Jonas Brothers and Justin Bieber and the Backstreet Boys. Because everybody listens to those bands anymore. But on the other hand, the band, those modern day bands did not have as much of a biggest influence mu on music that I like today as, as you know, like, Beatles were a lot of inspiration for a lot of modern rock groups, and not a lot of modern rock groups, but groups that, in, like, older rock groups that inspired modern day rock groups, and the Jonas Brothers are never going to become some sort of inspiration for, like, some sort of hardcore, heavy metal band 20, 30, down, 30 years down the road from me. I was able to get one shout-out request, and obviously it was like from one of my friends, so one shout-out, and I said I would do them, so here we go. Robert Fetty! Yeah, I was at the mall a couple weeks ago, and I thought, and I was supposed to meet my friend Brandon there, and I thought that I saw my friend Brandon from behind, so I ran up to him, and I smacked him on the ass really, really, really hard, and this guy turned around, and, and it wasn't Brandon, I almost got my ass kicked, but I think at that point I would have probably deserved it, but I then explained the situation to the guy, and he was pretty cool about it, which is weird, you normally wouldn't see someone be so cool about having a stranger slap you on the ass. So it kind of weirded me out in a lot of ways. Back on the subject of this little topic called music. Pop culture and music is just this big merry-go-round that just keeps going around and around and around. And it just keeps repeating itself and it's going to happen over and over and over again. And over and over and over and over until the second coming of Jesus. Now I'm going to talk rock and heavy metal here because that's what I know best. And make some comparisons to old bands to new bands that filled the spots of old bands like <laughs> bullet for my valentine is a modern day like poison black veil brides is a modern day kiss avenge sevenfold is a modern day metallica marilyn manson is a modern day ozzy osbourne and I feel like the Beatles of my generation is Nirvana. Because in how many ways can you compare Kurt Cobain to John Lennon? They both got shot. They were both a huge inspiration on a lot of people. They, they, they started a whole new thing of music that had an inspiration on so many amazing bands that are around today. And Dave Grohl is our... Paul McCartney, essentially, which would make Foo Fighters our wings, and the older guys like James Hetfield from Metallica would be like our Elvis Presley, and I'm not forcing anybody else to think like this, I mean, like, if you, I mean, I, may, I think it makes sense, I mean, like, if you think, if you can think of any other comparisons from old to new, uh, post them in the comments because those are very interesting to me and I love to hear those. Ugh. I'm out of sun drops, so I'm drinking Aquafina.
Why do people think that Adam Sandler's funny? Oh, and one more comparison between John Lennon and Kurt Cobain. They both had terrible, terrible, terrible wives. I think in my next video I'm going to talk about grunge a little bit. How that circle of life goes about. But I think I'm going to cut it off here and hang in there for that big news that's going to be coming up soon. And I love you. And, and don't spend your allowance money on drugs.